Hello everybody. <clears throat> in this video I received uh, a question again from somebody that was watching a previous video. In the previous video I showed how you can, with a little bit of custom code, um, make your posts equal height in the in the archives. Um, and the question was how can we can we also do something to make them have a masonry layout. So this, I'll let me show you. This is a masonry layout. You see the post. This is a cadence team with uh, some uh, blog post and you see this has a nice masonry layout. So it is certainly possible and in this video we will be going over the steps we needed to create that kind of a that kind of a layout okay so let's get right into it we have to open up the customizer and we're going to be creating some uh, custom code and we will <coughs> again have to inspect again the the page and see what we need to um, what we need to do or what we need to select okay um, I'm going to um, show you how you can do it, but it's an it's an option. It works well when you have more posts like this. So you see, this has quite some posts, but you can't really control this one. For example, we can't really see or control if it goes to the left or to the right. That's something that's not possible with the solution that I'm going to show you. And it's also not a good solution if you don't if you only have two posts. For example, if I click on this one, you see here it is going across. It's not next to each other which you would prefer probably but it's like underneath each other so if you only have two or three posts it might be not the best one let me show you this one here you see there are three and you see this is also like a masonry layout one, one and two underneath and then one next to it <coughs> So if you don't have too much posts, it might not be the best solution, but with more posts like this, this is working fine. Okay. The code that I'm the code that I'm going to show you is also um, if you follow along with the video, is going to be applied to all archives. So we have our now normal blog post page where, with all posts on it. Uh, but you see we have different categories. So if I click on a this category for example we get also to an archive page it's not all posts but the all only the posts with it with a category of this and you see the masonry layout is also applied here it's of course possible <coughs> if you have a page with a lot of posts like like the one here that you only apply it for this page the masonry layout and then you just um, reverse it for all other categories um, that's also possible i will show you also how you can do this okay we're going to have to go in the customizer and we are going to have to add some additional css the first thing that i'm going to show you this is now looking again like a normal uh, layout that the cadence offers you um, and we're going to no now add some css to make it a custom uh, I'm going to click on publish already and then I'm going to refresh this page so I'm out of the masonry layout <coughs> so we have default layout now let me go inside of the HTML you see this is the one div ID archive container this is going to be our primary selector that we're going to use and you see by the default thing that cadence uses is a grid system and it's not possible to create masonry layouts for now with a, with a grid or it's uh, not with CSS only of course so we have to change this first to be able to create uh, a masonry layout so archive container is going to be copied the id and mind you if you use this this means it will be applicable to all archive containers because if i click on the category here it will also have the same id archive container so that's why it's will it will be applied to all um all archives okay if you want to do it more specific you have to go up a little bit and you go to the for example the body tag you can use so go completely here body class here you have body class of block um, and if I click on a category, you see this is also using the default grid layout now. If you see here the body, if I go up again, you see here archive, category, and then here category, dash, and then the category name. So this is the one you could um, use, only this one for example. If you say I want it to be applicable to this archive, but not to the, the other ones, then you can copy this. And then you first have to put in this one like a dot and then this name and then it's only going to be applied to this page and all the other pages will be using the default grid layout like you see here okay but if you follow along with the video we are going to use let me select it again we are going to use this id if you use this it will be applicable or it will be applied to all 
the archives okay just to make it clear so we go to additional css you see i've already put it in here so the archive con container where they with this icon is necessary to select it uh, because it's an id and now we're going to do display block first oh, i have to put it inside of the brackets of course display block because it's uh, normally is a, a grid so this is otherwise not going to work and then we're going to add some uh, code and um, column count is the code and then you put the amount of columns that you want it can be three for example now you already see we get like the masonry style but you see this is looking still a little bit weird so we have to do something else as well but now we already have the the default uh, masonry layout you can change this to four and then you see we have four columns so you can choose whatever you want the only thing you have to keep in mind that this is not responsive by default so if i go to tablet view it stays three columns and it's it's still three columns on mobile so we have to change this for the different screen sizes because otherwise it will be a problem if people go on mobile phones it won't look nice so this is now with three columns what do we have to do then we have to go inside of our archive container and we're going to select the articles the articles these are this ones so each individual article and we're going to have to set some stuff here as well we're going to do also display and we're going to set inline block and you see now this is already looking nicer because if we don't do this by default it's just a normal block like this you see it's like splitting some blocks like in, in half so the bottom one here is like half of it is still here and the other half is here on top so we don't want it so that's why we have to put inline block like this then we have already the masonry layout but now it's sticking together so we have to put some margin margin bottom is i think sufficient margin bottom has to be like this yeah and then you can set one em or you set it in pixel values you can choose and you see now we have some spacing between and we have actually arrived at the end stage so more than this is not really necessary and this is going to make a mason layout especially with more posts uh, it's going to work really well okay now for other screen sizes you might say mm, this is already you see this is getting a problem already on tablet so we might want to go to two uh, column count of two uh, on a tablet so then you can um, add some media queries uh, so add media and and then you put a max width of for example uh let's make this 800 pixels best is to look in the customizer and you're going to like uh, make this screen size smaller and you see here it changes the default layout with cadence is like 10 24 pixels yeah and then you will see normally somewhere over here that there will also be at media and then min width or max width so depending on how you use it i'm going to use max width um so you might use the same 1024 but you might also check if it looks nice uh, even a bit smaller you can you can set whatever you want let's maybe change this now to 20 uh, to 1000 pixels you have to put brackets as well and then you uh, gonna put, you're gonna add some css here and it's gonna be column count so we have to first select our archive container so we can actually just copy this paste it in here and then we're just going to change the column count to 2 and you see immediately that it takes effect because now my max width is under the thousand pixels okay oh my serious i'm gonna remove this one yeah there he was so now you see it's still the mason layout but it's going to two columns on a screen that has a max width of thousand pixels and then of course we can copy this again and then say for mobile you can again see which screen size that cadence uses here you see it changes at five seven six so we might use that as well and then you're just gonna change this value five seven six and you can do column count of one for example and then it should be one column on mobile so this is something that you can set up like this but you have to make sure to add the media queries because otherwise it's going to be looking strange on different screen sizes first let me click on publish now and then open up my uh, page here 
So you will see it takes effect immediately. And you see we have the media query kicking in because we are now just at that value that I've set. Um, so I'm gonna display block and a column count of one. If I go over, you see it has the other one. So until 1000 pixels, everything is two columns. And then if we reach a thousand columns, it will go to, now you see we're above thousand, it goes to the column count of three. So that's something you can choose. You can change your um, media queries, of course, to make, to make it look here already in two columns. You can set whatever you want. Now you know how to. What we now also can make or can create is a um, the gap here in between we can set it as well. So we see by default. It's like a little bit wider We can say column gap And then say uh, 1 em and you see then it is the same because I've set the margin bottom also to 1 em It looks nice if everything has the same kind of spacing in between and this will also be applied the spacing in between here and then here, of course, it's only going to be the margin bottom that's applied. Um, but after you can set this up, you can, of course, make this bigger if you want to. Two EMs, it will take it in. It will also be applied here. See, the spacing is bigger. So something you might want to do. It looks a little bit neater if it's the same uh, spacing between left and right then and top and bottom. But it's completely optional, of course. But um, just showing you that this is also a little possibility that you might want to uh, set up. Okay.